Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to see how you can generate your JUnit report with the help of Jenkins. So before that, you need to do certain configuration. First, inside the build.xml, the report type should be XML. So you need to specify the type of report should be XML. After that, inside the Jenkins, just go to your job, go to configure, and in advanced project option specify the custom workspace so the custom workspace is the location where all your folders and build.xml are present so for us it is inside our d drive java folder okay after that in post build action select publish junit test result report so usually this is a plugin which will be present inside the join case by default. Now here you need to specify the directory where all your XML reports are getting generated. So for us it is reports. Reports and use slash start dot XML. So it is going to include all the XML file which is present inside the reports. So as we have already specified the location to the custom workspace. So inside this workspace, it will look for this report folder and inside the report folder, it will look for the XML file. So I do apply and save. So as we can, as you can see here, we don't have any link to the reports, but if I do a build now, so if you look at the console, it is going to execute all the target clean up create copy compile and as you can see that build step publish JUnit test report change the build result to unstable see so if I go to the JUnit job as you can see that now we are getting one more link over here that is latest test result and also along with the a chart which is telling that we have eight failure okay so if I click on latest test result link, it is going to gen it is going to take me to the page where the Jenkins has generated the report. So from here you can say that there are eight failure and fifth out of fifteen. It has list down the name of all the test method which got failed. So if you click on any one of them, it will go uh, take you to the detail of that test method, where it is going to give you the exception, what is the error message, and also with the stack trace. Okay, so as you can see there, so error message, stack trace, and standard output. So if that test method is printing at anything at the console, so that will come at the standard output. Now, here you will get all the test classes. So it is going to list down all the classes which were executed as a part of this JUnit test. So test before, after, test CSV, test database. And if I go inside any one of the class, it is going to give me detail about the test method which is present inside the class. So we have three test method that is test case one, test case two, test case three inside test before and after. If I go to test CSV, so here we have two method, test ISO code, test num code. And as you can see that here we are getting a failure for test ISO code but test num code got passed. So this is the report which is coming from the JUnit report plugin present inside the Hudson. Okay. So let me rerun it once again. Okay. So now if you look at the test result and go to the history so it will give you the number of build which you have executed and if there is any kind of a history for that number of build you have executed okay and this is the show count so show count tells that there are eight failure in all the three builds and out of 15 okay so here total 15 fail 8 so in this manner you can generate your JUnit report with the help of Jenkins. All you need to do is to use your end build.xml and specify the format type as XML. If I use plain, it will not work. But for XML, it is going to give me the report. 
So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.